Have you just been running? If yes, this is gonna be the perfect little flow for you to do right after your run. It's not gonna take very long, but it's just gonna mobilize your whole body and stretch it out so you can feel good every day. So we're gonna start in a downward facing dog. Hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up. Now make sure your core is tight and pedal out your feet. So you're gonna bend one knee and then stretch the toes on the other as you straighten the leg. So one knee is bent, one leg is straight. One heel is aiming towards the ground and the other one you're stretching out those toes. Just getting a little bit of mobility there. Keep that core tight, keep the spine long. And then you can stop it there. Bring the left leg up. You're going to bend the left knee and then you're going to circle that hip. Make four circles in one direction and then you can do four circles in the opposite direction. Making sure you keep your pelvis neutral, keep that core tight, and just move that hip in the hip socket. Once you've done four and four, step that left foot forward. Now, as you step the left foot forward, you can either grab onto blocks like this on different heights, or you can keep your fingertips on the ground. What you want is your spine nice and long, and then pull the heel towards the ground, and then shift forward, stretch the toe. Pull the heel towards the ground and then stretch the toe. But keep the chin tucked in, keep going backwards and forth. And we're gonna add on a little bit here. This is where the blocks might come in handy. You're gonna shift forward, bring the right knee down and then pull your hips back and bring your left toes up. You don't have to have this left knee straight, but you're stretching that whole backside of that left leg and then shift forwards and then pull the heel back. And then the knee comes down, shift your hips back, straighten that leg. Make sure to try and keep that spine long, so that's why the blocks may come in use. Come back up, pull the heel back, and then knee down, pull the hips back. Take your time here and do as many as feels good for you. You're just shifting backwards and forwards, adding a little bit of mobility and stretching in the process. We'll do one more, lift up. Pull the knee back forwards and down, pull those hips back. And now you're gonna bring the left foot down to the ground, come up into a low lunge. So you want to be in a 90-90 pose, your right toes can stay tucked under. Engage that right glute, bring the left forearm on the inside of the left knee and you're pushing the left forearm into the knee and the knee into the forearm. Reach that right arm up and then lean over towards the left. Nice big stretch there, keep that right glute turned on. Three breaths. And then you can look down in a diagonal. So look down to the ground, reach your right arm over to the left in that diagonal, giving yourself a slightly different stretch. And then come back up. You're gonna swivel to the right, feet are parallel, come into your side lunges. So you're pulling your hips back, side to side, keep those shoulder blades together. And because when we run, we go in that sagittal plane of motion, always flexion and extension, super good just to release those hips. Now you could go slower here. We'll do the second side a little bit slower, but this will just get them moving in another plane of motion. In that, in that frontal plane of motion. And then come back to the front. Hands at the front, left foot is forward, right foot is back. Bring the right knee down to the ground, the right hand stays down. Step the left foot back. So you could keep your left foot on the ground to start. This will be your first option. We wanna open this front left hip and the quad. Now you could stay here, maybe bend the left knee back a little bit and just lean into that right shoulder. If that feels good already, stay there. Or you could pick that left leg up, bend the left knee, grab onto, grab onto that left ankle. And then you're pushing your hips forward. You're squeezing those glutes, pushing forward, pulling the belly back. Imagine you're leaning against a wall and feel that stretch in the whole front here. Now, if you want a nice little neck stretch at the same time, release the right ear to the right shoulder. One more breath. And then you can step, release, step the left foot forward. We're coming into our pyramid. So your feet are on two separate lines, hip distance apart. Feet are facing forwards. Now you don't have to have your knees straight. You can have them bent. You can also grab onto blocks here. If you don't have blocks, grab onto your leg. Keep the spine long. We're stretching again that whole back of that left leg. Keep the core tight. 
and then let's go back to the other side. Hands come down, step back into downward facing dog. We'll come back into pedaling, but this time swivel your hips left to right. Getting a little bit more freedom in that side body. And then come back to neutral, bring the right leg up, bend the right knee. And again, we've got four circles in one direction, keeping the pelvis neutral, but that hip is getting some extra mobility. And then you'll do four in the opposite direction. Keep that core tight. Both arms are straight. And then you can step the right foot forward. So start by lengthening the spine, keep the core tight, and then you're shifting backwards and forwards, pulling the heel to the ground and then stretching out those toes. Heel to the ground and then stretching out the toes. Calf stretch, toe stretch. Keep going. And then we're adding on. So that knee comes down to the ground. You're pulling your hips back. You might be grabbing onto your blocks here and then shifting forwards. Left knee comes up, pull your heel back. Forwards, left knee down, pull the hips back. Keep that spine long. Don't hesitate to grab onto the blocks. They are always there to help you keep that alignment. We'll do one more. Go at your own pace always. And then come forwards. Keep the left knee down, right foot down. Come into your low lunge. You might need to sh shuffle around a little bit so it's 90-90. Right forearm on the inside of the right leg. Left arm comes up, reach up high. Lean over towards the right Squeeze that left glute. Feel the opening in the whole front of that left thigh. And then you can look down in a diagonal to the right. You're reaching that left arm to the right. Keep pushing the right forearm into the right knee and the knee into the forearm. Keep that core tight. And lift it up. We're swiveling to the left. Side lunges, feet are parallel. This time bend the left knee, bring your hands over to the right in a diagonal in front of you and then pull the hips back in space. You should feel a nice stretch on the whole left side body and on the inner right leg. And then you can bend the right, hands to the left. And this one should feel so nice after running. Just go left to right with a nice little stretch. We'll come back to the front of the mat. Left knee comes down. You can step the right foot back. First option is the right foot down on the ground. You could stay here. That might already feel like a nice opening as you squeeze the glute, push the hips forward and belly back. You might want to bend that right knee, just step that right foot back. Or you might want to lift it up, grab onto that right ankle. Give yourself a nice stretch here. And then to make it really yummy, release the left ear to the left shoulder. And that gives you a nice little neck stretch at the same time. Keep the core tight. A few breaths here. And then you can release, step that right foot forward, come up into that pyramid pose. So feet are on two separate lines, feet are facing forward, lengthen the spine, maybe grab onto the block, maybe hands to your leg to keep the spine long. Protect that lower back, keep the core tight. We're focusing on the back of the right leg here. Doesn't have to be straight. Take a few breaths. And then you can hands back down to the ground, step back into downward facing dog, finish off with that nice pedaling out, maybe hips left to right. Come down to the ground. If you felt like doing that again because it felt nice, do that circuit as many times as you want. And I'll see you next time.